The hell you won't, asshole. I'm talking to you, stupid. Going hunting? Yep. Well, you need anything else? Got a new shipment of deer calls in today. Not hunting deer. This evidence trail you're following, it's a waste of time for you and for me. Leave it. I think I know what kind of guy you are. You're the kind of guy that knows things. And you knew I'd come in here and cause a problem that would most likely get me in trouble. But now what you don't know, what's that? What it feels like when I hit you. Right now, you're wondering what's the best time and place to kill me. You know you'll need to take me by surprise because you're not sure if you can take me if I know it's coming. Let me save you the trouble. You can't. So if I were you, I'd take me by surprise. Reacher is a gritty, suspenseful action crime drama about a retired military police officer who gets caught in the middle of a deadly plot. The show was based on the Jack Reacher novel series by Lee Child. Reacher is the latest adaptation from the books following the two successful films, the first in 2012 and a standalone sequel in 2016. How's it going? I don't like being followed. Reports during the development stages at the time seemed to indicate studios involved wanted to make Jack Reacher the next big real-life action hero series by creating escapism adventures featuring the titular character. And with 26 plus books of material to work with, that's a very good plan. Until July 2019, Amazon landed the rights to Jack Reacher, and in January 2020, a TV series was greenlit, rebooting, and starting over with Lee Child himself leading the charge, wanting to find the perfect actor that's consistent and looks in the specific way he created the title character. Which I have to say personally is so rejuvenating to see a storyteller who's passionate and cares to deliver entertainment that an existing audience will like. A terrific eight hours of tense, well-acted, thrilling, quality entertainment that puts almost everything being made today in Western media to absolute shame. Major Jack Reacher. 110th Special Investigations retired. Nice to meet you, sir. The show introduces a man named Jack Reacher, a drifter who was arrested for suspected murder of a man found dead near an overpass in a fictional town of Margrave, Georgia. While in custody, he meets Chief Detective Oscar Finley, who was suspicious of him, and a deputy officer named Roscoe, who was more receptive of his presence in the town. When a banker named Paul Hubble confesses to the crime without any corroborating evidence, Reacher becomes embroiled in a violent clash with a brutal criminal conspiracy. Before long, he becomes determined to uncover the truth about what's happening in Margrave, find whoever's responsible, and deal with them permanently. And the closer he gets to the truth, the danger ramps up, from the very first episode all the way to the final frame. You're about to get your ass kicked. No. I'm just gonna break the hands of three drunk kids. The performances are really good, and the casting for all the characters is perfect. I believe actor Alan Richson has found the breakthrough role of his career in Jack Reacher. A man of action, few words, with a pure heart of gold and a strong sense of justice. He's a guy that doesn't actively seek out trouble, but if it happens to find him, he makes it clear that it will regret having sought him out. Richson definitely brings a serious approach to the role, making his performance memorable. He gives the character a lot of humor with his laid-back charisma, leading to some genuinely humorous moments between the various baddies he encounters, as well as his allies. However, his critical moments is when he really shines, when you see his intellectual, vengeful, brutal side of him, and turning his fear into aggression, you just can't take your eyes off him. He's a sturdy oak, tough and adventurous, who always moves forward, never backward, and always runs towards trouble, never away from it. Like George Patton. We are advancing constantly, and we're not interested in holding on to anything except the enemy. We're going to hold on to him by the nose, and we're going to kick him in the ass. We're going to kick the hell out of him all the time, and we're going to go through him like crap through a goose. <laughs> 
Willa Fitzgerald is really good as Roscoe Conklin, a deputy officer of the Margrave Police Department. She has great chemistry with Richson, and despite being a social supporter to Reacher, she can hold her own against those she comes into contact with. Proving in events throughout the series that she doesn't have to rely on size and strength, she can defeat obstacles through her wits and resourcefulness. Roscoe is a tomboy who's tough, bright with a spitfire temper and extremely intelligent. So much so she was recruited by the FBI and the CIA, but was denied because she lacks interpersonal skills. She's a secondary character who is an expert community leader, knowledgeable of the town's history, tendencies, and residents. Malcolm Goodwin is great as Oscar Finley, a man of intellect and character who moved to Georgia under mysterious circumstances. On the surface, he comes across as aggravating, sour, and uncaring, but deep down he's a decent, compassionate man. He's a driven policeman who's not about getting his hands dirty in pursuit of ridding the town of corruption, despite often being looked upon as an outsider. Tell me, why does a black cop from Boston with a 20-year pension come work in a southern backwater town in the middle of nowhere? The mystery of the show is engaging with Reacher and his allies from tracking down leads, going over clues, and gathering evidence, but what makes it compelling are the characters themselves and the way their differing personalities and backgrounds influence their thinking. Jack Reacher, who uses intimidation and brute force, Finley clean and by the book, Roscoe pragmatic and kind-hearted, Paul Hubble, a smart, eccentric banker who gets put through the mill both emotionally and physically. Or Reacher's colleague Neely, an intelligent investigator and sharpshooter who has half a phobia. Or the local town barber who's cunning, well aware, and savvy. They're all interesting in their own way and quickly become likable and relatable. Overall, for the most part at its heart, Reacher is a character study about very different people forced to cooperate with each other as well as persist. The same can be said for the opposite side for the villains and bad guys, which over the course of each episode you quickly grow to hate and want to see them gone more than ever. On top of that, the cast all talk, look, and act like real people. Whenever they're bickering with each other, in tense moments, making difficult decisions regardless of how they may personally feel, or difference of opinion about how to handle the situation, they conduct and control themselves rational and measured. Arguing their points effectively and go back to work with no hard feelings. Because working in the field where harm and death can come suddenly, violently, and permanently, personal feelings and emotions will get you and your allies killed. And the writing hand Hammer's home this lesson as the series unfolds. Getting into the action of the show, it's visceral, surprising, fun, and epic. The sequences are well shot, well choreographed, heavy, and hard hitting. The action itself shows how effective Jack Reacher is as a warrior, his legend defined from supporting and other characters around him, while building a slow burn sense of Reacher being this larger than life figure. Even the supporting cast are all well thought out and well rounded in the action of the story, and all of them have their own unique payoffs and character arcs. <laughs> If you're a fan of the Jack Reacher novels, especially Killing Floor, which is what the show is adapted from, I think you'll be very pleased with this. There are a few noticeable changes to certain events, but it's spot on almost entirely. And the writing staff and creators of this production understand the titular character and property really well. The storyline of the series has a good pace, it's well constructed, events are well set up and rationally explained, and follows a consistent and believable structure. In other words, it's well written. So be smart, don't break the law, and promise me you won't end up in another holding cell. No. Ultimately, I'm beyond happy this show exists in a world where we are just being crushed under political correctness, agendas, virtue signaling, or content with practically nothing to it. This is a big win. Reacher is fucking awesome, with an engaging, coherent narrative that keeps twisting and turning, great action, character development, exposition, etc. It delivers on all fronts. It also promises even further adventures in future seasons derived from the books. And if the makers stay at the level of this first season, this will easily hold its own against anything else made today. If you haven't gone around to it yet, give it a go. It's eight hours of your time that will be very well spent. You looking for payback? Payback? Justice? Vengeance? Looking for the whole gang. <laughs>